Roger. Roger, hold this. Let the sword be with you for now. With the exception of some details, unfortunately I do not see anything that could prevent the spirit of the Gorgon from reuniting with her body. No way to stop her? No, but here's what's peculiar. That special reflective material that was applied to the surface of the warrior shield. In the book, they call it Merarium. Will we make a similar reflective surface? No. No, that way we'll end up with the same situation as we had the last few centuries. People will continue being turned to stone by accidentally glancing at the reflection that contains the rebellious spirit. There is a large spiral staircase in the hall just above the petrified Gorgon body. If we manage to get Merarium, then we will try to enclose the spirit into it, just like a mirror prison. We must do it immediately after the spirit reconnects with our body, but first we need to figure out how to melt the metal which we'll spill on top of the Gorgon right from those stairs. But we can't waste any time. Our last hope will fade away with the last ray of sunshine. And where do we find this murarium? The book says that it was produced not far from here, in the mines. The problem is the poisonous rivers don't reach those territories. And that's where the reign of the dark forces begins. I'll go there. Out of all of us, I'm the only one who's able to resist the darkness. Well, my dear, if you say so. Now let's get back to my place. That's where the shortest path to the entrance of the mine starts. But the pot in which we'll melt the substance better be prepared now. ready. Now let's run to my place. Alice, I'll show you the shortest way, and from there, you'll go searching for a Mirarium. How exactly do I get to the mines? 
climb down through my window, then carefully cross over the river. Mirarium, how much should I bring? According to the records, we need just a little bit. It can be mixed with other molten metal. Of course, in certain proportions. So I'll try to figure out all the details while you're gone. So beautiful here. I wonder how many oasises like this, where the dark forces haven't reached yet, are left on my planet. And there is the poisonous river. I need to somehow get to the opposite side. I'll try to break down that old tree. This looks like the entrance to the mine, but it's locked. What do I do? Thank you. 
Alice. You cannot escape. Alice, so, did you succeed? Yes, Albert. But as I should have expected, I had to face the Dark Forces, with Colin in the lead. If not for the Poisonous River, they would have caught me. It seems it's the only thing that restrains them from invading your lands. Oh, yes. The book contains records of one of our ancestors. The woman wrote that, accidentally stumbling upon the temple, she came up with a guess that the poison oozing from the snakes on the head of the Gorgon affects the darkness and people suppressed by it in an interesting way, even if for a little while. But it makes people return to their previous selves as if fending off the possession of darkness. And with this heartening discovery, the main difficulty became apparent. The poison oozing from the sleeping body of Gorgon started losing its properties rather shortly and no longer had the power to free the affected minds. Fresh poison was needed. The one that was oozing directly out of the snakes on the head of the Gorgon. And how do we obtain it? Only if we allow the spirit of the Gorgon to reconnect with her body? And this, my friends, is very dangerous. I am ready to take the risk. I want so badly to have a resource that will force the darkness to retreat. Well, we'll need to be crafty. Right before we enclose the spirit and the body of the Gorgon into the trap prepared, we'll cut one of the poisonous snakes off the Gorgon's head. It is extremely difficult to injure the Gorgon, but that sword that we found here, I think it might do the trick. Yes, it won't be easy. As soon as the spirit reunites with its stone body, I'll need to be quick and chop a snake's head off. After that, you and Roger will immediately pour the prepared alloy right on her. Right, Albert? Yes, yes, that will be our plan. Although difficult to accomplish, but we must hurry. The sun has almost reached the horizon. Albert, what about my petrified friends? Will we help them? I'm sorry, Alice. I've been struggling with this problem for years. I think they can no longer be helped. Now all we have left is to melt the mirarium and metal together. I'm afraid we're running out of time. The sun is almost set.
Alice, come, come down quickly. Remember, you must lure the Gorgon to the right spot. Going to do, my dear. How do you plan to fight me? Prepare to die. No! We managed to defeat the Gorgon, and we will continue living our lives in a city sheltered from the power and captivity of the dark forces. Alice, having obtained the snake poison, went to the dark side in hopes of saving her uncle. I hope she will succeed.